Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So apparently there's so many fish in the sea, but I haven't found one, so I got myself an avatar instead. It all began as a protest at the Nelson Mandela University when Luke Rudman made a bold statement against plastic pollution. The young performance artist used his eclectic talent to draw attention to a really important environmental cause. He joins us now to speak about his eye-catching work, plus a showcase live in studio. Welcome to the show, Luke. Thank you for having me. I mean, you are so beautiful. This <laughs> is absolutely incredible. Take me up to the, you know, what led to this performance. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I've, I've always been a very creative person. I grew up in a very creative household where my family is amazing and, and very supportive of, of all my endeavors. Yeah. But um, I've always been an artist and I went through an experimental phase um, in 2017 where I was actually painting with makeup, um, not on myself, but one evening it just clicked that I should use myself because that's makeup, that's, that, that's the canvas for makeup. And, and um, I created my first piece um, in 2017 and since yeah. then, um, I like got bitten by the bug and I've, I've been producing um, prolifically since then. I've made over 200 pieces to date. Amazing. So why a plastic pollution in particular? Um, well, my, my past work has focused on like uh, many different issues like identity or, or social commentary, but yeah. I've kind of at the moment settled on the environmental crisis and, and plastic pollution just because I think it's such a, a pertinent, pressing issue. And, and I yeah. think we see that um, with all the businesses now taking note of, of, of recycling and, and uh, ending single-use plastic and so on. Yeah. Um, and I've always been a bit of a, an eco-nut. Um, before I discovered art, I wanted to go into conservation or okay. ecology. And so it, it's a beautiful way for me to marry the, the, the two big loves in my life. You yeah. Know? yeah. Your work is just so precise, so detailed. <laughs> and I mean, it's, you know, it's got the beautiful juxtapositioning of the, the beauty and, of course, the horror mm. of what's happening. So I'm dying to see some of your other work. Can you talk us through some of the pieces Of course, of done? course. If the first model would come on. Um, these are all part, I did a, a big um, performance on Nelson Mandela University campus where there yeah. were 12 pieces and this is the one piece that was part of that body of work. I mean, I think just the, the visuals of a wounded angel is so um, representative of the way that we're treating the earth, a yeah. serene, um, pure place that um, can be viewed as wounded because of the Do way we treat it. understand this side with me so that we can give your mother of course, of the, course, yeah. the stage because she just looks incredible. Wow, what a beautiful piece. Um, and so all of this plastic was collected along the Nelson Mandela Bay coastline and, and so in that way it's representative of, of yeah. the ocean plastic because it is marine month at the moment so I thought it, it's a, a good way to raise awareness about about those issues. Um, so th this is the symbology of, of, of this piece. Yeah, and you're a first year. I am a first year, I'm 19. I yeah. mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, what are you gonna do with all this talent? <laughs> there isn't enough storage in the world. Oh, <laughs> I, I think I'm just seeing what doors open for me at this okay. point. Okay, incredible. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the, the second model should come on now. Yeah, let's have a oh. look. Wow. So this piece, I've always been, there's a few art movements that have been very inspirational to me over the years. I think um, Cubism and Picasso's work, um, as well as Salvador Dali's um, surrealism, I think is, is so iconic. Um, and so I, I do this two-faced makeup look. It was one of the first pieces I've done and it's almost become like representative of all of my work. And so I really wanted to bring it into one of the 12 pieces. Um, but this piece is also, because it is so fashionable, um, uh, commentary on, on the fashion industry and how fast fashion is also in many ways negatively affecting the environment. I think about 40% yeah. of landfills ends up being textiles, unfortunately. Yeah, it does. Um, so this, is, this piece is commentary on, on that side of the industry. That is so incredible. Have you seen the two eyes on the side of the face? It's just absolutely magic. How long does it take you to create each in, uh, each look? So the, the, obviously the collecting is, is a separate process, but then um, the, the construction of the piece usually takes about three days and makeup, um, if I really focus on, on this makeup, took me three hours this morning, but obviously wow. um, on the models, it was a little bit quicker than that. Okay, um, so I mean, you take as much time on your makeup as I do, basically. <laughs> yeah, we end up looking a little bit different, though. <laughs> um, Just as much contouring. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is the third and final piece that I've brought to show um, on the show today, and, and this piece is more of a, a comment on on our approach to the environment. And I think the business world has, has failed in many ways in addressing the environmental yeah. issues, and, and so this piece is a commentary on that side of things. But I also just think the 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 visual element of the, the fire and the, the dark colours um, is also visually striking to like, yeah. catch the viewer's attention. Well, you are a ridiculously wise and astute young gentleman and such a talented artist. We cannot wait to follow your career and see what happens. Thank you so much for having me. No, my absolute pleasure.